Tell me what your name is. Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just wanna go over the details. Let me inside of your mind. I know I just met you, but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo. Baby, I'm one of a kind. Hello, friends. It's been a while since I did an office wear lookbook, so I hope you enjoy this one. For this lookbook, I kind of wanted to use just a few key pieces and make a lot of different outfits for them, especially back when I worked in office job. I like to make a lot of outfits out of a few key pieces because it helped me to get dressed a lot faster and that way I didn't really have to think about my outfits too much. First outfit that I have is just like a classic office outfit. We have a blazer, button up, pants, and some black heels. This button up is from Zara. I got it a while ago, so I went ahead and linked similar options from other brands that I like. It almost looks like it's made out of silk material, but it has tiny little polka dots that you can only see as you get closer. I think it's kind of a fun pattern that makes it a little bit less bland than just a plain button up. So I tucked it into these green pants and I thought it'd be kind of nice to belt it. And I feel like it just kind of finishes off the look and makes it look a little bit more professional. So I don't remember where these pants are from, but I'll go ahead and link similar options down below. I love these heels by Madewell. They're kind of like a pointy block heel. The heel is only two inches high, so it makes it really great for walking around the office all day, especially if you are working eight or nine hour days. They're super comfortable, but they make your outfit look super professional and put together. So the color does look a little bit washed out, but they are a black heel. It's kind of like a suede material, and I am obsessed with these. I feel like because these pants are kind of a straight leg, ankle crop pant. These heels help to add a little bit more length to my outfit. Then on top, I have this blazer here from H&M that I actually haven't worn in a while. I have a blazer from Everlane that I wear all the time. This H&M one is a really great affordable dupe. It fits really nicely. A blazer is just a necessity for any type of business casual look that you're going for, especially if you have an interview. It's just something great to top off the outfit and always makes it look super professional. So let's talk, do we drop or do we get kicked out? For this next outfit, all that I switched out is the top and the jacket. These are the same pants, belt, and shoes that I wore in my last outfit. This top is actually a high neck long sleeve from Lululemon that I picked up in a haul a few weeks back. This coat, I got it from Japan a while ago, but it's one of the coats that I consider like a staple in every single closet. So I'm not gonna stay here too long just because it is very similar to the last outfit that I wore. For the next outfit, all I ended up switching out is the pants. This is such a good, easy, chic looking outfit that always works for me. Here you can see the Lululemon top that I wore with the last outfit. It's just such a good basic to have. This one is super, super comfortable, but again, you can find so many similar items like this from pretty much anywhere else. These pants are from Express. These are a little bit more of a like culotte straight leg fit. I love these pants because they're high waisted and it's such a unique fit, especially with these shoes. It really flatters my legs. The heels help to add a little bit more length to my legs. Then paired with the outfit, I added on this gray coat that I wore in my last outfit. I think this is just a great topper, especially because we have so many dark colors going on. It's just a great thing to kind of throw on top to kind of lighten up the outfit and add a little bit more color back in. So I kept the same top and pants that I wore in my last outfit, but I paired it with this coat from Everlane that I am obsessed with. I mentioned it in a haul in my cozy outfits lookbook, but it's just such a great wool coat over top and the color is just so striking. For my shoes, I have these flats that I got from Target so long ago, so I'll go ahead and link similar options, but I just love all the colors here. Beige and black are just such great tones to kind of pair together. Then I ended up switching out the pants and the top. This top is the Seaton top from Aritzia. It kind of has a more casual laid back fit, but the high neck top makes it totally off as appropriate. And you guys have seen this in so many of my lookbooks. I've had it for so long and I just wear it with so many different things. I have it in a couple other colors as well. I have it tucked into these Aritzia Cohen pants. I love these pants. They're super comfortable and I also love that they're made out of a material that does not wrinkle easily. I think this is definitely a must have for 
from Aritzia. It's totally worth the price. These are a little bit more of a skinny leg fit and they crop above the ankle as well. So paired with these flats that are pointy, I just feel like it helps to keep the outfit looking really refined. We have a lot of colors here that really go well together. On top, I have this Everlane Rewool coat that I wore in my last outfit. This is actually a double breasted coat, but I don't think I would ever actually wear it like this unless it was freezing out. I just like the way that it looks open better. I love this coat. It's super long, really warm, and I think it just nicely ties in all the colors here. This next outfit is another great classic. I just love how black, white, and beige all look together. Underneath, you've seen all of this before. This is the same polka dot blouse that I had earlier. I have the Aritzia Cohen pants, my Madewell pointy block heels, and then on top we have this Everlane wool coat. I feel like the beige tones of this coat really just ties everything together and makes it just one notch above the basic office outfit, especially if it is cold where you live. Throwing something like this over top really helps to keep you warm, but at the same time helps you look really refined and sophisticated. Then really quickly switching out the pants. These are the same express straight leg pants earlier. As you can see, there is a little bit differences in the silhouettes of the pants. Over top, I'm just gonna throw over my gray coat from GU that I wore earlier. And this is just another great way to kind of change up your basic outfit by having a pant that is a little bit more of a culotte shape. The heels also help to add a little bit of length to your legs. And the coat kind of is just that third piece topper to kind of tie everything together. Finally, this is probably my favorite outfit of this entire lookbook. For the base layer, we have the button-up, the Ritzia Cohen pants, these Dior Say flats, and then I have that same H&M blazer that we wore earlier. This would be a great suit if you wanted just to wear something like this or if you wanted to change out the nude flats for the black block heels, but I feel like this is a power suit for days when you have meetings or you're meeting a new client. This is just something that will definitely make you look sharp. But what really pulls this whole outfit together for me is throwing this beige Everlane coat over top it ties in nicely with the shoes, but it also just makes your outfit look so sophisticated. Not only do you look business chic, but you also look stylish AF. And this is just such a great outfit. I love laying over a coat over a blazer. It is such a clean look and I feel like something like this still doesn't feel like you're doing too much, but it definitely makes a big statement. So that is it. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite.